is here and brent is here gentlemen thanks for coming morning thanks for having us and uh this uh actually event it's called absolute consignment auction coming up on may the 19th where's it going to be held it's going to be at our ministry okay 75 holmes road in charlotte mm-hmm. arkansas will, will it be in the new building or be well a lot of it be outside of course why Yes, sir. It's uh, mostly outside in our gravel parking lot outside mm-hmm. of our multi-purpose building. Yeah, and multi-purpose is a nice building there. Glad you guys have that. Uh, Brent, whom I'm talking with now, you were graduate number 1,000. Well, that's right. Uh, the, the governor came and honored me in, in, in the ministry uh, during my graduation as the 1,000th man to graduate the program. Mm-hmm. It was who, would have, who would have thought when, uh, when it started, Brian... As I told you guys earlier, I said, boy, if I could do about 12 men a year, that would be really great uh, because it, it's a long-term process, and you're number 1,000. How many have it, men do you have at John 316 now? Uh, right now, we're about 155. 155. Now, uh, Brent, you're also an instructor, right? Yes, sir. That's right. So they, they liked you and just kept you uh, kept you on, kept you busy, kept you working. Probably had you uh, working on this consignment going around telling everybody about it. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Uh, let's talk a little bit about it. Uh, when we say absolute, that means that uh, you sell it for whatever price it might bring. You get a little, what I would call, commission. rest of it goes to the person who brings the item, kind of the way it works. That's right. That's a, that's a simple uh, way to say it, I mm-hmm. guess. Yes, sir. So uh, let's talk about some uh, – and by the way, there used to be a big event called Unity Fest – now, this is kind of a replacement for that, isn't it? That's right. You know, we had Unity Fest. It was on Memorial Day weekend every year at, right. at the end of May. And and uh, it just got to where it couldn't grow anymore. There was The parking was was full. No more people could come. And, yeah, uh, limited. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so we thought we got to do something different. So we started this consignment auction. And uh, this is our first one. Mm-hmm. We're really excited about it. You know, we, we're hoping to have about 300 items, and we've got that. Mm-hmm. Um, and and people have been real generous uh, bringing items to put out in it. We've got all kinds of stuff. That yeah, we're going to talk about some of those things here in just mm-hmm. a moment. Uh, now, when you when you take that many items, you better have somebody over with a pencil that is pretty good keeping up with everything, right? Oh yeah, uh, <laughs> we have four, five different auctioneers coming. Oh out. yeah, let's let's talk about who's going to be some of the auctioneers, kind of. Uh, uh, guys in the community that are coming out and doing this for you. Let's talk about them. Who are they? Well, we got Mooney Star, uh, Danny Perryman, J.R. Hendricks, Sam Manuel, and, and Richard Tuggle. Now, if they can't handle it, it just can't be handled. <laughs> That's right. I'm going to tell you that right now. <laughs> Every They'll, personality possible right there. <laughs> isn't that the truth? <laughs> just all we say, uh, say about all those guys is uh, don't expect either one of them to be like the other one. That's right. <laughs> because <laughs> they all have their fun, and they do, and they all do such a great job of, of uh, being an auctioneer. My goodness, I'm looking at this. You've got a string of trucks, like a Chevy 4500, a Suburban, a pickup, a GMC pickup, Ford Explorer. Uh, Jimmy, the list goes on and on. Uh, I don't know how many trucks you have, but quite a few, uh, Brent. So then you got cars? Yes, sir. Tell us about what all you've got, some of the things you've got. Well, uh, one of our big big items is a 1,000cc diesel Intimidator side-by-side. It's a four-wheel drive. Uh, it's going to be really nice that we have out there. Uh, uh, as for trucks, we have a 2015 GMC Yukon. It's a mm. beautiful ride. And oh, yeah. All kinds of different things, uh, like boats, boat trailers. We have a tractor, a T-5050 New Holland uh, tractor with a bucket on it, and uh, hmm. motorcycles, ATVs, antiques. Motorcycles? Yes, sir. Wow. Uh, even all the way to bounce houses and, and a quail hunt. Quail quail hunt. Now, <laughs> yes, now you're talking. Okay, <laughs> so uh, somebody just... Uh, donate that or did they they have those i guess they have those things for sale don't they yes, uh, they sir. provide quail hunts for people mm-hmm. so uh for the kids bounce house uh, bounce houses uh, uh, was i reading somewhere where it's going to be a fishing derby for the kids that's right the, the arkansas game and fish is, is coming out they're going to put some fish in our pond out there mm-hmm. they're going to let the kids fish and and have fun while while mom and dad go go buy some and some new trucks and tractors they can be out there fishing winning some prizes yeah. now hold on guys it's Mother's Day, Sunday. Oh, we got anything for the ladies? 
Well, we have a, a big yard sale. Okay, I right, can't be ten. Yeah. Okay, so we, we including uh, mom and uh, grandma and everybody else. Well, I'm gonna go quiet there, and I'll be watching all this and bidding on some things, and I, I get hungry all of a sudden. You gonna feed me? Maybe get something to eat? Oh yeah, we have a concession stand where we're, we're selling hamburgers, hot dogs, popcorn, snow cones, and mm-hmm. sodas, all kinds of different things. So uh, got all that available now. I'm looking at the antiques. Simplicity walk behind trailer with a moor deck goes back to 1958. Now that's an antique. Oh yeah. You got some antique furniture? We do. We got uh, some some furniture out there. I seen a, a covered wagon uh, out there, like a mule drawn covered wagon. <laughs> all all kinds of stuff. A covered wagon. Okay, mm-hmm. so I'm, I'm liking this better all the time. You've got some barbecue grills, I noticed, too. and We're getting about, uh, it's about that time of the year, isn't it? That's right. we got two barbecue grills I've seen. That they've they, they fixed up, painted them, put a fresh coat of paint on them. They're ready to go. Now, if anybody likes, uh, say, uh, utility beds for trucks, you have those. You've got uh, toolboxes yes. and all kinds of tools to yeah. put in those toolboxes. You got quite a list. I noticed of motorcycles and ATVs, including a Polaris 700 Sportsman. That's a four four wheel drive. Easy go. You even got a golf cart. We got everything. <laughs> <laughs> so you can uh, can uh, now. What time does uh, this is May 19th? What time does the auction actually start? It starts at uh, 10 o'clock a.m. Okay, 10 in the morning. So can someone come out there a little earlier and? Uh, go around and see what all you have you'll have it kind of displayed won't you absolutely uh we, we will have it out there uh, every item will be ticketed and ready to go you can come out there and look at it uh, open up the door i don't know if to make any promises or not but you get in there and try to start it uh, everything we're going to have in there should start and run yeah so uh this is all coming up on may 19th and it'll be at charlotte arkansas it'll be the home of john 316 ministries and starting at uh, 10 a.m., Landon and Brent have been our guests this morning. Guys, it's always good to see you, and I'm, I'm real anxious to see how this 1,000cc diesel Intimidator four-wheel drive uh, sells for. That is one fine piece of machinery, I'll tell you. It is. Yes, sir. Brandon, as always, good to see you. And good. Brent, number 1,000. Who would have thought it, huh? Congratulations to you.